Hey there everyone, how you doing? My name is Mitch Coleman and I am an alcoholic and I have your daily reflections for October 19th, 2021. Today is a freaking special day. It is my daughter Cecilia's fifth birthday and wow, does the time go by. It's pretty nuts. Just amazing how quick that time goes by as a parent. I um, looked it up yesterday, it's like she is 18,025 days old today. And I am 1,000 and um, eight days or nine days sober. Just amazing. And it makes you feel really proud when you see those numbers next to each other. And you're like, all right, you know, I wasn't perfect in the beginning, but either way. All right, this one is titled AA's Main Taproot. The principle that we, the principle that we shall find no enduring strength until we first admit complete defeat is the main taproot from which our whole society has sprung and flowered. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions book, page 21 and 22. And continues, defeated and knowing it. I arrived at the doors of AA alone and afraid of the unknown. A power outside of myself had picked me up off my bed, guided me to the phone book, then to the bus stop, and through the doors of Alcoholics Anonymous. Once inside AA, I experienced a sense of being loved and accepted, something I had not felt since early childhood. May I never lose the sense of wonder I experienced on that first evening with AA, the greatest event of my entire life. And I got to say it, <laughs> I got to, I think the greatest event in my entire life was not AA, but you know, it is a great thing. But I'd say the kids that I have, those birthdays are pretty much the greatest days because that gave me a way. I mean, Alcoholics Anonymous helps me for sure. But being a dad, in my opinion, for me, has been the biggest motivator to never go back. But um, what did I get out of this one? Uh, Once inside AA, I experienced a sense of being loved and accepted, something I had not felt since early childhood. And um, everyone's childhoods are different, so... I wouldn't say that part rings true to me, but the feeling accepted part definitely does. And I think if I can go back, my first AA, AA meeting I went to was in Ventura, California in this church off Main Street downtown. And um, I have some buddies that still go there now. I was probably 20, 25 when I went there, but uh, it was cool, but it was scary. You know, it's very scary when you're first going to AA and I didn't continue to go, but that's like when that seed was planted of AA, even back then. Years go by, years go by. I remember going to North Kansas City, um, which was a pretty gnarly one. You go to different AA groups, you get a different vibe from each one. And the one that I go to now, which I don't get a chance to go to as much as I'd like, and I, I do need to start going there more again, because that is just where I feel comfortable. I feel very at home there. And um, you do, you plant your roots there, and you don't want to go other places yet. Sometimes you're you feel like you you might need to but hey, it is what it is. I uh, Just know that you do get a feeling of acceptance in there and if you're having struggles and you You do need help. Maybe AA isn't for you But just getting into a meeting and seeing people that are like you is great and just don't be turned off by what other people tell you people will tell you it's a cult it's um, it's too religious and it's like it's it's not you can hear people talk about that stuff but that doesn't mean that's what you have to to do it's just like anything in life you know you're going to be around a lot of people say at work that you don't get along with but you're still there and you associate with them you know you get through it and it's the same in AA there's going to be people you don't like in there but you know you're not going in there for that you're not going in there for anyone else Accept yourself and to help others all that other shit doesn't matter because really what it boils down to is it's all about your sobriety not personality um, You know not perfection, you know, we're not all perfect, but we don't need to hear about all that other stuff Because you're there for one thing to get better to get sober and to be a good human being and a better Mom a better dad a better brother sister family member member of society, you know and um, help fix yourself get some help with those character defects which we all have you know and um again maybe AA isn't for you but give it a try and um try different groups don't just give up on one group because you go there and then all of a sudden you're like oh I don't like that that was too weird because trust me every group is different there's a different personality each group has their own personality and um 
if you're serious about trying to get sober, then I suggest going to them. And you do meet people that are like you, you know, and they say we're just like a bunch of survivors from a plane crash. And um, we're all different, but we have one thing in common. We've all crashed, you know, and we've all been at that bottom. We all are seeking that help. And it's important to get that help because there's people that have been in in some groups that I've went to and you see them come in and come out and come in and come out and um, they end up dying sometimes, you know, some of them die and that could be us and that would be me. And I just trip out on that. And I'm so thankful today to have two beautiful women, well, girls in my life, which is my daughters, Cecilia and Clarissa, and get to spend a birthday with them because they are the biggest motivators. And um, if you're a parent out there, think about that because I trip out on that too. Like, how do I do it? Because my kids, when there are plenty of people out there that are still stuck in the addiction with kids and you're like, man, what is that? It's, um, I don't know. It's that willpower, I guess. It's, it's something that we all have. And I'm not saying... Um, I'm better than anyone else. I'm just saying there's certain things that I figured out and that's why it's so important for us to study and look more into our character defects and see why we're even doing this in the first place, why we are drinking in the first place, why we're using drugs in the first place, why we're trying to escape from our own mind. And we find many different escapes to escape from certain things that we're, we're hiding from, you know, we're hiding from our personality sometimes. So we don't want to think. So if it's something going on in our brain, we don't want to think. So we're going to numb it out and we're going to try to be like, Oh, cool. I'm drunk. This is so fun. I feel great. I don't have to think about my childhood crap, you know, or whatever it is, or my mistakes. And, um, you got to feel them either way. That's all I got. I got to go start getting ready for my daughter's birthday. And, um, I love you guys. I hope this, um, has helped someone. Please give my channel a subscribe click the like button and the notification bell if you would please and leave a comment and I just want to thank any of the people that have left comments and um it makes me very happy to know that this page is getting out there more and it's um put in that work and it's getting out there and it's it is a good feeling like yes I'm helping people because that's all I want to do I want to help people because you guys help me thank you so much have a good day love you guys remember one day at a time you got this late